The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. I figure if we're going on a diet, the farther we are from the refrigerator, the better. <laughs> a dab of cottage cheese, one slice of tomato, and a half of a hard-boiled egg. Now, that's lunch. Now, Viv, it's 157 calories, and that's all we're allowed to have. Who says so? The bathroom scales. <laughs> Don't you want to say goodbye to ugly fat? Right now, I'm going to go out in the kitchen and say hello to some macaroni and cheese. <laughs> okay, eat your macaroni and cheese, but just remember how you look in your knit suit from the rear. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? This is all we get until dinner time. I don't want to waste any. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Connors. Hi. Hello, Harry. How are you? I picked up your mail when I got mine. Oh, thank you. And I brought you a treat. I was in town, and when I went by Freehoffer's Bakery, of course, I thought of you two. Freehoffer's? What'd you bring us, Harry? What you is wait it? Wait, you see? Never mind. We don't want to know. Why? We're on a diet. A real for sure diet? Or one of your, next week, we really got to go on a diet diets. I'll have you know we've been dieting since early this morning. Congratulations. That's the longest you've ever gone. Well, we really mean it this time. Yeah. You want a cup of coffee, Harry? Thanks. A uh, bill. Bill, occupant. Bill, occupant. Look at the dull mail I get. Oh, here's a letter from Mr. Barnsdall at the bank. He finally caught on and is sending me my monthly check early. Thanks. Oh, dear. It's only a letter from Mr. Barnsdall. Of all the nerve, just listen to this. What's the matter? Uh. My dear Mrs. Carmichael, our Miss Thomas has informed me that your checking account is overdrawn by the sum of $2.15. As executor of your late husband's estate, it is my duty to keep a close personal watch on your finances. Will you please come in and straighten this out at your earliest convenience? I'll go in and straighten him out at my earliest convenience. <laughs> Our Miss Thomas. You know what probably happened? She made a mistake and she's trying to blame it on me. And what do you think you're doing, Harry? I'm eating the coffee cake you didn't want. Well, you should at least have the decency not to eat it in front of us. Look at it, Lucy. It's got gooey icing and, <laughs> and uh, it's got toasted almonds and strawberry jam in the middle. Now, come on, girl. What about it? Huh? How about that? Huh? <laughs> well, maybe it won't hurt us to have just one thin, sniggly little piece. Yeah. Harry! I've got to save you from your plump little self. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. Barnsdall. Oh, Mrs. Carmichael. How oh, nice to see you again. <laughs> I came by, as you suggested in your letter, to straighten things out. Good. In fact, I could hardly wait to come by, because it just so happens that this time it is not my fault. It's the bank. So, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, my bank does not make mistakes. So ha 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 to you. <laughs> if 
also happens that I went over my check stub just this morning, and there's not a single error. So you can take your ha-ha-ha and put it in your vault. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael? <laughs> yes? On this stubby here, you have a balance of $42. Then you made an entry of $15, which you added to your balance to make $57. Yes? Your addition is perfect. Thank you. However, when we write a check, we do not add to our balance, we subtract. <laughs> <laughs> How could you have made such a mistake? Well, to tell you the truth, I... I don't like subtraction. <laughs> Deposits you add, withdrawals you subtract. Now, I suggest you get a blackboard and write that on it 100 times. <laughs> Mr. Barnstall, consider my checking account closed. And I'm also withdrawing the $20 in my Christmas club. Very well. Miss Thomas? Miss Thomas. Will you please close out Mrs. Carmichael's Christmas Club? Yes, I know, it's not Christmas yet, but it is for us. <laughs> <laughs> Just close the account. And that's that. That's that. Except for the small matter of $2.15 you're overdrawn. Oh, talk about your pound of flesh. Two dollars. And fifth. Miss Thomas will bring you your check. Good day, Mrs. Carmichael. Is that all you have to say? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Did you give Barnes Doll a piece of your mind? Not only that. What are you doing with a box of candy? Oh, they were having a sale at the drugstore. Two pounds for the price of one. What happened to goodbye to ugly fat? Oh, uh, I thought I'd give our hips a going away present. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael? Yes? Here's your Christmas club check. Thank you, Miss Thomas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> you know what I ought to do? I ought to take this $20 and spend it for something foolish. Oh, what's the matter, Lucy? This check is made out for $2,000. $2,000? Oh. I think our Miss Thomas has made a mistake on the machine. $2,000. And he said his bank never made a mistake. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cash this check and wave that money under his nose. And then I'm going to say, I thought your bank never made a mistake. <laughs> That'll show him. Uh, 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 <laughs> good afternoon. Then, why you bring then when Mr. Barnes doll falls off his swivel chair, I'll give him the money back and I'll graciously accept his apology. My, that's a nasty little scheme. <laughs> <laughs> he who ha ha ha's last, ha ha ha's best. <laughs> Did they cash it? Why shouldn't they? It was their check. Look. Oh, look at all those $500 bills. Isn't that a beautiful sight? Doesn't President McKinley have a lovely smile? <laughs> I'd smile, too, if I were backed up against a $500 bill. <laughs> oh, uh, Miss Thomas. Yes? I'd like to see Mr. Barnes' doll, please. I'm sorry he's tied up in a meeting just now. Well, when will he be untied? I really can't say. Oh, come on, Lucy. We'll do our shopping and come back here later. All right. Oh, Viv. Huh. Viv, I can't go running all around town with $2,000 that doesn't belong to me. I better wait in the bank. You're right, honey. Let's see, it's 3 o'clock. I'll meet you back here in 30 minutes, huh? Yeah. Okay. What are you doing? Look, 
I've got $2,000 in the house, and it isn't mine. I'm not taking any chances. Are we going to stay on the lam until the bank opens Monday? No, just until we can find a safe hiding place for this money. Now, what do we do with it? Spending it is out, huh? <laughs> <laughs> now, where can we hide it that a burglar would never think of looking? How about that candy? That's a good idea. Let's have some candy while we're thinking of a place to hide. <laughs> Deb, I mean hide the money under the candy. Oh, if I were a burglar, that's the first place I'd look. Yeah, you would. Get me the money. Why can't you get it? Look, I'd trust you with $2,000, but not with two pounds of chocolate. Get the money. There. Now, what are you going to do with the box? Yeah, what am I going to do with the box? Coming along great, Jerry. Now just remember, you start with the ball right under your ear and you shoot it past your face. You got that? Yeah. Try her. Hey, watch this, sir. What are you eating? Nothing. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I smell chocolate. Where'd you get the candy? Promise you won't tell? Cross my heart. I found it where her mom's hid it. I thought they were on a diet. So did I. Hey, you sure they were hiding chocolate, Sherm? Sure, I saw my mom eating a piece. Huh? Boy, a whole box! Why, those chubby little sneaks. Not too many of them notice. Here, give me that box. You wouldn't rat on us, would you? Uh-uh, I'm gonna give you a present. Take this to the carnival and treat your friend. <laughs> They'll thank you for it. <laughs> that doesn't sound like my mom. <laughs> that doesn't sound like mine either. But who cares? Well, let's go to the carnival. Goodbye, Mom. Bye, Mom. I don't think they can hear you over the vacuum. I'll say goodbye for you. Goodbye. Right. Goodbye. Hey, good fast. Well, where is she? Where is Mrs. Carmichael? Hi, Mr. Barnesdall. Uh, oh, Connors, it's you. Well, where is she? Well, simmer. I'll get her. Lucy? Hey, Lucy? 
In all my days as a banker, I never ran across anybody like her. <laughs> she is unique, isn't she? <laughs> Jose! If I get my hands on her, she may go to prison for years. Well, hi, Harry. How are you? Oh, hi. Oh, Mr. Barnes' doll. Now, Mrs. Carmichael, I've got to come right to the point. I've been up all night trying to trace a $2,000 shortage. Really? And I've traced it to you. Oh, well, now, if there was a shortage, that means there was a mistake, and I thought your bank never made mistakes. May I point out to you that cashing a $2,000 check with $20 in your account is a felony? Well, now, I had no intention of keeping the money, so it is not a felony. I merely wanted to wave the money under your nose to prove that you and your precious bank were human. We're human. Now may I have the $2,000? <laughs> Not until you say I made a mistake. Oh, Mrs. Carmichael. Oh, come on now, say it. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Now, that wasn't so hard, was it? Now, will you wave the money under my nose so that I can go home and get some sleep? Glad. <laughs> There. Now, Mrs. Carmichael, I'm not interested in reading. I'd like the money. This is supposed to be a box of candy. I'm not interested in sweets, either. I don't understand. We put the money in a box of candy. Uh, uh, and we put it in this book jacket. Oh, no. Maybe you got the wrong book. Come on, let's look over here. Did you have it on the top? It was on the top. Oh, no. Yes, and I haven't touched it. Oh, no. What's with you? And oh, no. I gave the candy to the kids to take to the carnival. Oh! Oh, Harry! Well, let's not stand here. Let's go to the carnival. Back to the go. carnival. Hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Michael. Well, we just all got to hunt until we find those four $500 bills. Now, fan out, group. Come on, Jerry. Man, good good now, children. <laughs> Lucy, Lucy. What? Come here. On the end of his stick, he had a $500 bill. He put it in the bag. I'll get it. No, wait a minute. This may take a little finesse. I'll do it. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, what is it, Mac? Uh, <laughs> how'd you like to sell me your bag of trash? <laughs> I, I, I don't think you heard me. <laughs> how'd you like to sell me your bag of trash? Or would you like to find a quiet corner and sleep it off? <laughs> This is a pure business proposition. I'd like to buy the trash. Yeah, what do you want, you rocker? No, I'd just like to buy the trash. Yeah, but what are you, some kind of new nut? I'll give you a bucket and a half for it. What are you making a big deal? But, uh, would, would you move down about, uh, that far? <laughs> I'm sorry to bother you, but would you reach that paper for me, please? <laughs> Enough to eat, Katie. Oh, go on, buy your granddaughter a hot dog. She looks <laughs> undernourished. <laughs> Come with me. 
I need your help. I can't. Why not? I found one, too. Where is it? Here. Oh, that dear. One. Katie, when are you going to stop that sobbing? Right now. Give me back my purse. Not until I buy a hot dog. Add a girl, Katie. Give me back my purse. Catch me. Oh, Katie, really? Oh. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right, but she sure wiped the smile off McKinley's face. <laughs> I couldn't. Why not? An elephant is standing on it. <laughs> yes, come on. Come on, here she is. It's only me again. Oh, dear. See, Lucy, there it is, under her foot. <laughs> well, all we gotta do is get her to move. Oh, fine. Did you ever try to move an elephant? Well, just get her to lift her leg for a second. How you gonna do that? Uh, would you mind lifting your leg just for a second, please? Come on, push it. Get it up, Lucy. Get it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. Oh, I can't. She won't move. I'll help you. I'll help you. Come okay. on. Come on. Get down. Come on. Get down. Oh, she's sitting on me. Oh, oh. Lucy, it's, oh, that won't work. That won't work. Listen, maybe if I talk to her, she'll cooperate. Okay. Uh, uh. Now, hear this. <laughs> your foot. Please. Lucy. She can't hear it through her nose. Her ear's up here. Oh. Uh, uh. Oh. Oh, uh, pardon me, but if you lift your foot, I promise to vote Republican. <laughs> a Democrat. <laughs> oh, she, now? she was in a carnival. Maybe she knows tricks. Okay. Um, what are you going to do? Would you like to shake hands with me? Would you like... She almost did. Would oh, you like to shake hands? Would you like to shake hands? Try shake a leg. Try shake a leg. <laughs> oh, dear. What would make an elephant move? Another elephant. <laughs> That's right. They follow each other. What are you going to do? They follow each other. Uh, 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 Jumbo? Come on, Jumbo. Yeah, Jumbo. Come on, Jumbo. Come on. Come on, Jumbo. Come on. Come on, Jumbo. She's not moving. Look, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, please. I'll, I'll pull and you push. Push her hard. Push? I'm, I'm gonna where? Push I'm gonna push. From back there. Where would you push her? Oh, But you come back here and push. <laughs> See if you really should give up that knit suit. <laughs> wouldn't sell me his trash, so I, I had to wrestle him for it. Oh, I got it, it, though. And I got one. Woo. Oh, boy, and I got one. That's Come on, help us push this elephant, will you, Harry? Right. Huh? Why are we pushing an elephant? <laughs> I got another woman's shoe. It was stuck with gum. How did you get so wet? Did you ever try to take off a woman's shoe in the tunnel of love? <laughs> Tunnel of love. <laughs>